The six runners take their final turn. Walking forward now towards the starter. Walking in and they're off. For the Corals, Silviniaco Conti Chase, grade two over the extended two and a half miles. They go to the first of the 16 fences, and as they do so, the favourite Pick Dory has gone off into the lead and led by a couple of lengths over the first. Uh, restrained at the back of the field is St. Calvados, his stable mate, as they now go on towards fence number two. And it is Pick Dory, who's got the lead now by a length and a half, to call Cody, who will jump in second place. Towards that one's outside in third is the Grey Angel's Breath, who's extremely keen. And then towards the inside of that one is Paint the Dream, followed by Clondor Castle, and St. Calvados is the back marker. And now Cool Cody moves to on the inside of the early leader Pick Dory as they've crossed over the open ditch and go now on towards another plain fence, which is fence number four. Pick Dory comes to it and jumped that one slightly better than Cool Cody, who hit it in second. Still racing choke out to the outside Angel's Breath on the first run for over three years in third. Now moving up to challenge for second place and wants to go much, much quicker than rider Sam Twiston Davis will allow. Settled in fourth position is Paint the Dream, followed by the check colours of Clondor Castle. And then the back marker is St. Caldoffs, who, as is his wont, is taking a keen grip at the back of the field in the hands of owner rider David Maxwell. Into the home straight and on now towards fence number five and Pick Dory and Harry Cobden have got the lead. And the lead there was about a length and a half. To on the outside, Angel's Breath, who crossed it in second, called Cody to the inside in third and Paint the Dream is in fourth. Clondor Castle, the horse who finished second in this race a couple of years ago, is in fifth and still the back marker is St. Calvados and they're all safely over the next. Next fence in sight now will be the final fence in the circuit's time. This time around, it is fence number seven, and it is still Pick Dory, the Peterborough Chase winner, who leads the way. To Angel's Breath over in second, and Paint the Dream has now moved through into third and closing up between rivals. Cool Cody has been shuffled back to fourth, and then in fifth, a length away, is Clondor Castle and St. Calvados, the back marker. Now they make the run by the stables and going out into the country, Paint the Dream is now going to try and put a bit of pressure on the leader, Pick Dory, as they race towards the halfway point. So it's Pick Dory on the inside, Paint the Dream, and Connor Brace has made a significant move now to breathe down the leader's neck, racing in second and out a little bit wider. And then the Grey Angel's Breath, racing upon the outside of Cool Cody. Still the last two are Clondor Castle and St. Calvados. They've gone through halfway and now they cross over the next, which is the eighth. Pick Dory, the lead about a length and a half as they went over that to paint the dream in second. Paint the dream got level, but he didn't get by him, and Pick Dory's kicked on again. Over the next open ditch, Pick Dory jumped it well, extending the lead to two and a half lengths. Over Paint the Dream in second, and now there's four lengths back to Angel's Breath, who raced on the outside of Cool Cody, and still the last duo, a Clondor Castle and St. Calvados. So now they make the turn into the back straight. A mile to go in the grade two Coral Silviniaco Conti chase and Pick Dory still leads by two lengths to Paint the Dream in second and then over three lengths away to Angel's Breath on the outside of Cool Cody as they make the run down the back straight. Clondor Castle and St. Calvados still at the back of the field. The seventh from home, Pick Dory comes to it quick over that, led by a couple of lengths, two in second, paint the dream, and these two are getting away from the rest. Now they go on towards the second one down the back straight. Pick Dory's lead will be two lengths as he rises. Paint the dream over in second, four lengths away, back to the third, who is Angel's Breath. And then moving on the inside, Clondor Castle, and then St. Calvados, and now Cool Cody has been relegated to last. This is the fifth from home. Pick Dory by nearly three lengths to in second, Paint the Dream. In third, moving up now, Clondor Castle, followed by St. Calvados, Angel's Breath, and Cool Cody. This is the fourth from home, and Pick Dory makes his first significant mistake. He got right into the roots of the fourth from home, but he fiddled his way over it, and he leads now by just a length to Paint the Dream, who races in second. Clondor Castle on the inside of a rallying Angel's Breath, and then St. Calvados, and a break of about six lengths to Cool Cody. 
They begin to make the turn in. Three more fences to take in the Coral Silviniaco Conti chase. And it is Pick Dory bidding to give trainer Paul Nichols a third win in the contest. And he leads now by two and a half lengths to Paint the Dream in second. In third, Clondor Castle. And then St. Calvados. Pick Dory is over the third from home. The lead now four lengths over Paint the Dream in second place. Racing inside the final quarter mile. And on now towards the second from home. And it is Pick Dory. Pick Dory comes to it. He leads now by the best part of eight lengths in second now on the outside Clondor Castle. In third Paint the Dream and then St. Calvados Angel's Breath has been pulled up two out. Here's the final fence for Pick Dory. He's isolated on his own because he's well clear and now inside the final 150 yards it is Pick Dory who is coasting home racing up towards the line the Coral Silviniaco Conti Chase goes emphatically to Pick Dory. It will be Clondor Castle second in this race for a second time. In third, Paint the Dream. In fourth, St. Calvados. And fifth and last to get home was Cool Cody. Well, look at the big smile on Harry Cobden's face. For the second time I've had to say that, Harry. But uh, it's not hard to keep it for that long after what was, to the eye, a very impressive performance. Yeah, he, was, he was very good there. I, I, um, I must admit, I had a little bit of a ground worry when I walked it this morning. Um, he's much better on good ground, but... You know, he's maturing and getting better and probably turning into quite a smart, smart horse now, isn't he? He jumped very well, just missed the fourth last a little bit, but apart from that, he was foot perfect on the way around. And um, I suppose he'd have to go to Ascot next and have a crack at that. OK. And when you say things like he's turned into a very smart horse now, would he be a Ryanair horse? Would Cheltenham be an, uh, a possibility for him? I'm not sure that, he, that the Ryanair would probably be his gig. He's, he, I'll tell you what he is, he's a very, very good grade two horse. He's probably five or six pounds short of being a grade one horse. But, um, you know, when he comes around here and other tracks, I can get him into a nice rhythm in front and just those good races at Aintree and Cheltenham and places like that, you, you're almost going half a stride quicker than you want to. And it's quite difficult to dominate those sort of races, isn't it? But um, He's definitely improving, and it wouldn't surprise me in time if, if, if he ended up in one of those races later on in the season. But um, I just think that race at Ascot probably suit him two mile five round there. OK. Well, thank you for that. Good assessment. Uh, well done. Yes, thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.